Hey everybody, welcome back to Nico Brothers and we're back at it with our RV. So the goal to today is basically to work on the engine. We had it running, but it wasn't perfect. It kind of like hard to start and then it sputtered a little bit. So what we want to do is take our parts off our spare engine that we have and replace anything we need. I know my intake manifold is actually a little different than the original one. So luckily I have a spare one, so I'm gonna get that swapped out. My fan clutch is broken right there, as you can tell. Hose is bad, a couple little sensors, I got a wire poking out, you know, there's a couple little things that I might as well take off on my one that I have that's good and make this thing purr, make it run, make sure it's all fine well, before we move on. Because right now it's obviously really easy to work on since we have the floor off, we have all this space, sunroof right here, perfect lighting. So I might as well go at it and get this thing back to original OEM stuff, specs. And most likely we can go for a real test drive. That'd be kind of crazy. Imagine just, yeah, seeing this thing drive like that, kind of like. We get a little bucket seat again, you know, we've, we've done that before, so that'd be fun. Yeah, we'll get it running, go for a little drive, make sure everything's good, and then keep going. Okay, so it's off and I am I think it might be the same might be different But either way, it's nice to take it off because I do want to make sure all my coil packs are good So I'm probably gonna replace all of them. I put up all my energy to make this one purr This engine is staying we do not want to take it out because we know it runs and it's a good engine So I'm gonna take off whatever I need from this one because I'm probably gonna sell that anyway Don't really need it and make this one run so all the coil packs and this way I could see make sure nothing else is damaged everything else looks fine, but get those replaced and should be good to go so I can move on further down. So I went ahead and blew off this engine as well, got all the debris out of the way, and time to start harvesting all my good parts. So basically there's a clutch fan, Got myself the handy dandy clutch fan tool. That'll just basically hold the bolts so it doesn't spin while I unbolt it, basically unspin it. But for now, just go get my coil plaques, coil, coil packs, get those off and install it in my good engine. They're both good engines, but you know what I mean. And just like that, my coil packs are replaced. Got them all plugged in, looking good. I'm gonna go ahead and clean for my intake manifold. 
make sure that's good, double check, no debris, nothing like that, and put that back on, so that way seal that up, and keep moving on. Like I said, my clutch fan already got that off over there. I'm gonna replace this guy, replace that guy, but this way I can really tell, make sure nothing's going on. No issues, nothing like that. All right. All right, all right, let's see what's going on. So basically got all my cold packs plugged in. Everything that I need to is hopefully plugged in, at least roughly, still got some stuff to replace here and there, little things, but overall, I want to run it because this thing ran before, so I do want to try it again, make sure we're still running before I move forward, and hopefully it'll fire up and purr. That's, that's the goal, let's try. Alrighty, so it's spinning over and it sounds healthy when it's spinning. Sounds like there's good compression and everything like that, but it is not firing over. So either A, I'm not getting fuel or my spark plugs aren't doing its job or something's going on. Definitely gotta do some further investigating and let's just keep digging. Like I said, this is definitely the time to figure it out, make sure this thing is running nice because we have it all taken apart and it's a lot easier to work on it before I put the whole cab back on and I have no room at all to get in there. So. Time is now to get this thing running beautifully. So I found some cut wires in my main wire harness. I'm gonna go ahead and fix those. Hopefully that'll do it. If not, gotta keep digging and find the issue. Guys, it's been days, still no sign of life. This thing is not just starting. Basically it's cranking. It's sounding pretty good when it's cranking, but it's not spinning over. We basically just starting. I got the starting fluid over there, but it just kind of sputtered a little bit, then just die. Will not idle, not run on its own. Man, I gotta check my coil packs, maybe my spark plugs. Something is definitely going on. Still struggling. Going through my wire harness. Still finding a couple things here and there. Maybe something is unplugged. Maybe something just got damaged during shipping when we brought it over here, pinched a wire. Still don't really know what this wire is over here. Where is it? Looks like a pretty stout cable. I don't need to figure out what's going on. But, man, just getting to know this engine pretty good, this wire harness. You know, that's the way to learn, to have issues. Just whittle it down what's necessary to get this thing running, because I'm pretty sure this is how they do it from the factory. They just have an engine, a uh, steering wheel, <laughs> you know, the basic necessities for it to get it running, and then they build a house over around it. So I need to go ahead and get this thing running good before we can build a house around it. So Ivan is waiting for me. I definitely don't want to get him involved. He's working on get, harvesting the parts in the back, basically stripping all the fire things off, but I need to figure this out and get it done and get it running. Still not there, but hey guys, we have hope. Honestly, we've done things worse. We've had engines just run standalone, so I have hope that we're gonna get this thing going. You know, we've had it run before, just gotta figure out what's stopping it now. It is a little annoying, but hey, not gonna give up. We're gonna get this thing running. So I'm gonna diagnose, do a little diagnostics on it right now, just scan it, see if that helps, and just keep whittling away. Seriously, no faults for the PCM, powertrain control module. <sighs> That's not good. It's not really helping us out. And everything else is kind of clearing up. All right, there's three things going on. 
if you scan like a BMW or an Audi, you have like eight pages. Retrieve, come on guys, get something, nothing. Here's just some kind of code, I'll stop it. Some kind of sensor. But with Fords, they kind of start popping up after you start running. So unfortunately you have to get it running, and then you're driving, and then the codes will start coming. Great. Man, I just don't understand it. So I have plenty of fuel, a lot of gas in the tank. I was able to take off my line, and it was get, fuel was coming out when the fuel pump engaged, so I know I'm getting fuel. Um, my air mix ratio, that's basically the next step. I did mess with this box, so that might be changing it. Let's look into that. So I did have two green wires and one black and green wire. So I kind of guessed, but it's a 50-50, so I'm going to replace these two. Swap them out and see if that does anything. I kind of doubt it, but hey, I'm willing to try a lot of things now just to get this thing running. Maybe that's it. Let's swap them. I do use the heat shrink wrap for a nice clean look, and it really holds it together. It keeps the moisture out, so nothing, you know, because wires exposed, they start rusting and become fragile, brittle, and fall apart. So this is nice. It keeps it together. But let's swap them. Dang, guys, so that was crazy. Uh, I got more jump boxes on there. It definitely was spinning a lot faster. I was spraying way too much starter fluid, and this thing backfired on me. So me and Ivan are both here, and we got a giant fireball into our faces. He got my beard, got my eyebrows. But luckily, thank the Lord, we're okay. But wow, that was, that was definitely dangerous. Make sure you guys don't spray a little too much starting fluid on this thing. I oh, just wanted to get going, but wow. That's crazy. I'm gonna take a minute. Take a little break. Wow, guys, dang. What a journey. I'm gonna get it, you know? We're not gonna give up, obviously. We're gonna get this thing going. We're gonna get it running again. But hey, that's the kind of stuff that you have to deal with. Sometimes it was working yesterday, and then the next day, you know, nothing. Nothing's working right. But hey, that's part of it. Sometimes you gotta fight through the struggle to make you smarter, stronger, less hairy, burn off some hairs. <laughs> But unfortunately, that's all the time for this episode. I'm gonna take a little break and then just go at the wire diagram, just figure this thing out. We are gonna get it started. So make sure you stay tuned, hit that like button, make, leave your comments below. What do you think's going on? Why is this thing not running? What do you think the diagnostics is? I mean, I don't know. We love your feedback, guys. Read the comments, we'll get it figured out, but make sure you stay tuned and we'll see you next time.